Today's telecast is presented live from Baltimore Scaryland in Red b and Spike Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage, <laughs> and so do I. I heard the city was famous for crabs, so if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that quell lotion and see a doctor. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Okay. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, no. Mm. Uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. He's running out of gas now. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. <laughs> and it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. But ten, they might catch him. Move, you fat little mutant. Well, look at those moves. His teammates better compliment his dancing skills. Otherwise, there's going to be a pile of dead bison in the locker room again. Oh, he's going to get him now. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. And he misses that extra point. Oh, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. That's probably why he missed. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Not, not one, nine. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. Second down and nine. Hey. This guy's a brick shithouse. Hey, man, 
and nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Third down and, well, good luck. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Cut off that pit. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely the cops are rushing home. Yeah, move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down and seven. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside. But he was still talking. He'd be saying, "Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, 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 fuck." First down and three. And the runner, and he runs it in for the touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. They want more points, so they're going for two. Way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on Scrim. He damn near clawed my face off. Uh, that was before the class even started. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beef boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is going to get ugly. But boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First and ten. Hot, hot one. I personally think that the giant at this rate, the and he's off to the races. He's at. Here comes the defense. He's at the twenty. No touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Oh, 
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing pow with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And the quarterback, oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Running for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and a sliver. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down and more than the QB would like. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo, moo Is she gonna dry clean that before she gives it back to me? And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. He just got crushed. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner.
argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. Your world. You understand me? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hi, one. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My brawl up. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third and four. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second and three. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's prop enough to chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. was good for 10 yards. Third down and, well, good luck. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you butts. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And a 
another interception. This quarterback is going to lift. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that'll be second and eight to go. <laughs> Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. That's a whole lot of player right there. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's shipping like of smarmy grim. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Third down, and the QB is saying his... The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? What? Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You gotta punt it here, come on. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rent. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a re- The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. The defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. And it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vexed. 
revengeful. Wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? First down and a timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Glenn. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. four yards and that's the last time out they can't stop the clock anymore can any of us really stop the clock Grim? i mean when it comes right down to it are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality of that constant relentless advance if only it was as easy as telling them time out that's a nice pickup for six yards second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, nice hit. It certainly left skid marks. Second down and more than the QB would like. <laughs> and the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. And that'll bring up third and one. I bet you took a lot of shots. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. Oh, I take a beast boost 
injection too! And now Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. And hold the 20. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Brick. The Razors win by forfeit. And more corpses line the streets of Baltimore. And just what the city needed. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -hmm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. I'm a I'm a with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.